10am, HMS Queen Elizabeth entered Portsmouth Dockyard once again. It was the lowest key of homecomings. Social distancing meant no friends or family waiting on the jetty, no line-up on the flight deck. Ten weeks might not be a huge amount of time away from home for a Royal Navy ship and her company, but it was ten weeks effectively entirely at sea, and that is unusual. In that time, this warship and the 1,100 men and women on board have passed a big milestone, passing operational sea training, a package to test their ability to cope with everything they might face, whether it's in war or peace. It included a scenario of multiple fires and floods below deck while still running flight operations above. It was difficult, as you can imagine, um, but all you've got to think about is your Potentially you will be saving someone's life, whether it will be on a flight deck or you've done an engine room stopping a flood. So you just got to put out the training side in your head and pretend it was real life. Do you feel better equipped now if that were to happen? Mass to massively, yeah. It's been a big learning experience too for 617 Squadron, the Dam Busters, who flew out just over three weeks ago for their first big test of operating F-35s from the carrier as a fully formed squadron. So we came into this with nobody qualified to fly from Queen Elizabeth, and we did the basic, the first two weeks, we're crunching those basic qualifications, uh, day and night, and then post that, we've been able to actually broaden some tactical skills as well, both normal tactical uh, for us internally as a squadron, but actually interlinking with the ship as well, so we've got some good, uh, good work out of that. HMS Queen Elizabeth also worked with HMS Kent and her Merlin helicopter on this training mission, developing protection of the future flagship. But it's not the first time the carrier has worked with other ships or any of these aircraft. Nonetheless, the carrier's commanding officer believes they've taken huge steps forward. For the layman, what can you and your ship and, and, and her company do now that you couldn't do 10 weeks ago. So it's about uh, layering up the complexity. So previously we'd been trained to be able to deploy overseas, go to America and do trials and tests and evaluation. Now we've overlaid that with a degree of war fighting um, so that we're able to demonstrate our ability to deal with the most complex incidents. So we've passed that clean bill of health and now we're going to move on to added complexity, more ships around us supporting us, more complex scenarios and a, and a sort of in a more hostile environment. The first few weeks getting lost all the time uh, was fun. Um, it's, it's always people, where, where are we going? That way, that way. And yeah, it's been fun. The girls has been great. Uh, the accommodation's really good, actually. Yeah. Does it feel like home now? Yeah, yeah, it does feel like home. HMS Queen Elizabeth and her company are now home for the summer. They have one more chance to test themselves and refine their operations on exercise with the US and other NATO allies in the autumn. Then, in the new year, they will deploy for real, and it seems they feel ready. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.